The following pre-trip demonstration will be conducted on a 2013 Safety Liner C2 Thomas School Bus. Please keep in mind the demonstration is geared to meet the required specifications in the state of Ohio. Please check with your local testing site for your state's specific exam requirements. Ready? Okay, Therese, we have, you have 30 minutes to complete your vehicle inspection or pre-trip. I want you to point and tell me about the part and also what two defects could take it out of commission. And you have 30 minutes to complete this portion of the test. Okay, um, when should I start? Whenever you're ready, I'll start the timer. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start at the front of the bus. I have my amber clearance lights, my amber warning lights, my red loading lights, my amber side uh, clearance lights, my amber turn signals and hazard lights on the side, and my clear headlamps. They are um, all the proper color. They are properly mounted and secure. They're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Under the bus, I can see that there are no puddles of any kind. There are no obstructions and there's no damage to the bus. I'm going to look at my mirror mounts, making sure that they are all bolted securely, not cracked or damaged, loose or missing, all of them. I'm also going to check my hood latches and to make sure that the bus is not leaning to the left or to the right, that would indicate a sus suspension problem. Mirror brackets are all good, not cracked or damaged, loose or broken. Going to tip the hood. I'm going to start up top. This is my coolant reservoir. All of the hoses are connected securely, not kinked or leaking. There is an adequate um, level in the coolant reservoir, and the cap is in place. Okay. I'm um, going to move down to my alternator. The alternator is belt driven with the serpentine belt. The alternator is belt driven and it's connected properly. It's secure and uh, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, including the copper wiring. Okay. My serpentine belt is not twisted or frayed and when I push on it, it does not deflect more than a half inch. I'm looking down here at my power, not sorry, at my um, water pump. My water pump is also belt driven. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it's not leaking. This is my windshield washer fluid container. Cap is in place. Hoses are um, not kinked or leaking, and nothing, nothing is leaking here as well. We're going to take a look at our front and rear spring mounts. They are not cracked or broken, loose or missing. They're bolted securely. My torque leaf and my spring leaf are not shifted, cracked or broken, loose or missing. My U-bolts are bolted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. This is my shock absorber front. It's got top and bottom. Um, it's bolted securely, top and bottom, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it's not leaking, okay? I'm going to look at my ABS line and my brake line. They are securely attached, not kinked or leaking. They're securely attached to the brake chamber, which is clamped securely. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and neither one is leaking. I've got my push rod and my slack adjuster. Uh, if I were to, um, it would not move more than one inch. Okay, if I were to tug on it. Okay, um, if I were to remove the dust cover here, I could see that my brake linings were not worn dangerously thin and that the brake drums have no grease, oil, holes, or debris on them. I'm going to look at the face of my tire inside and out to make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The tread on the tire all the way across is evenly um, even all the way across is 4 30 seconds uh, tread depth okay there's no abrasions or bulges or cuts either side 
My rim has no welds other than factory welds. My stem is straight, centered, has a metal cap, and I would use a tire pressure gauge to see that the tire pressure was adequate. My hub, uh, sorry, my lug nuts are all securely fastened tightly. If one was not, we might see a rust trail or a shiny pattern. And my hub oil seal is also bolted securely, not cracked or broken loose or missing, and it's not leaking or we'd see a spray pattern. The also the level inside of the hub is um, adequate. My mud flap is secure. My def tank is not um, the cap, the cage, and the tank itself are not leaking and it is secure. We're going to move over to the other side. I'm going to start up top and work my way down. All of my lines, wires, and hoses are attached securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and if it can leak, it's not leaking. Okay. I'm also going to take a look at my power steering reservoir. The power steering reservoir has adequate level of fluid in it. It's between add and full. If we didn't have this um, sight glass, we could take off the dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert it, and check that it's between add and full. I'm going to follow the hoses down, which are securely attached, not kinked or leaking, and we would see our power steering pump, which is gear driven. It's um, gear driven, it's securely mounted and attached, bolted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it is not leaking. If I look back through here, I can see that my um, air compressor is not cracked or broken, loose or missing. All of the hoses are attached securely, not kicked or leaking. Okay. I would check my oil dipstick the same way I checked my power steering fluid reservoir dipstick. I would take it out, wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it out again, and it would read between add and full. I would check my brakes, my suspension, and my wheels the same on this side as I did on the other. In addition, though, I would check my gearbox. My gearbox is mounted and bolted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The hoses are attached securely, not kinked or leaking. I've got my um, pit pitman arm and my drag link and my tie rod, the bar going across. All of them are both bolted and mounted securely. The castle nut and cotter key are in place. Okay. All right. Latch the hood back up. I'm going to stop at the entryway. Our door, all the glass is in place and secure. The um, rubber seal is intact, not cracked, broken, missing, or um, damaged in any way. My handrails going in are bolted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. The step tread going up the steps is not lifted to pose a tripping hazard. The step lights inside and out, they're clear, they're the proper color, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and you'll see that the door and the lights function properly in a few moments. Our sticker is up to date for the school year. Our clearance lights are amber before the duels, red after the duels, as our, is our reflective tape is in place, and reflectors. The reflectors are also amber before the duels and red after. I'm going to take a look under the bus at some components. We're going to look at our exhaust system. Our exhaust system is um, straight. It's, it doesn't have any holes and, and a soot pattern would indicate a hole or if the bus was running we would hear excessive noise. I also want to check out my drive shaft. My drive shaft is straight and centered. It's not hanging on the hangers. It's centered between them and the hangers themselves are not cracked or broken loose or missing and um, again like I said there's no leaks coming out of the exhaust. Okay, if I move down a little further, I want to take a look 
um, all the way across, I can see that my brake linings are not worn dangerously thin. If I re um, remove the dust cover, then I could see that the brake drums have no grease, oil, holes, dents, or debris. Um, I can take a look at my um, front and rear um, mounts, spring mounts. They are bolted and mounted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. I've got my torque leaf and my leaf spring. They're in place, not shifted, cracked or broken, loose or missing. Um, it's harder to see, but I have my U-bolts in place. They are bolted securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And I do have my push rod and slack adjuster, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it would not move more than an inch if tugged on. I have my brake chamber, which is clamped securely. Attached to the brake chamber is my ABS line and my brake air line. They are attached securely, not kinked or leaking. Okay. This is my bud wheel. My bud wheel is evenly spaced, but has no spacer, and there is nothing between my dual. We're going to take a look to make sure our tread depth has no less than 2 30 seconds tread depth evenly worn all the way across. The face of our tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The rim of our tire has no welds other than factory welds. The stem is straight centered, has metal cap, both of them, inner tire and outer tire. If I were to check the tire pressure, I would use a tire pressure gauge. My lug nuts are all in place and tight. If one was loose, I might see a rust trail or a shiny pattern. This is my um, axle seal in back. The axle seals, all the bolts are in place and tight. None are loose or missing, and it's not leaking or we would see a spray pattern and neither is the tire stem. It's not leaking either, front or back. This is my mud flap. Um, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at my air bags and the air um, mounts. The bags are in place. They're attached securely, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, they're not leaking. I'm also going to take a look at my shock absorber. My shock absorber is bolted top and bottom. It's not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and it is not leaking. Um, you can see the U-bolts better back here. Okay, I'm also gonna take a look at my fuel tank, the fuel cage. Um, it's not cracked or broken, loose or missing. My, my frame and cross members are also in place, not cracked or broken, loose or missing and the torsion bar is back here. Not cracked or broken, appears to be functioning normally. I also want to take a look at my fuel door. The door, cap, neck, cage is all in place. Not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and neither one is leaking. Okay, windows all in place, not damaged. Proper lenses, um, red in the back. Okay. My red clearance lights in back, amber warning lights, red loading lights, clear backup lights, red brake lights, amber turn signals and hazard lights, and red um, tail lights. They are not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and you'll see later that they're functioning properly. The reflective tape is the proper color and the reflectors are red and they are also the proper color, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. I'm gonna open the door. The lights come on, the buzzer sounds. It locks into place. Uh, the seal is intact, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And we'll put that up later. Okay, I would check this side of the bus exactly as I checked the other side of the bus. In addition though, I would add the stop sign arm, proper color red in the lenses, not cracked or broken, loose or missing, and you'll see in a moment that it's functioning properly. My clearance lights are amber forward of the duals, red after, turn signals is amber, and hazard lights are amber. This is my um, battery compartment. 
three batteries, tray and pins are in place, no um, corrosion on the lines, and they're all connected properly and um, mounted securely. This is a, a circuit breaker bus, so there's no additional fuses. Okay, now we're gonna go on the bus. All right, I'm going to tell you about my safety equipment. I've got a first aid kit that has 24 dry box bandages, proof of insurance, and three emergency contacts. My fire extinguisher, its needle is in the green. It's rated, dated, and charged. My body fluid cleanup kit is also right there. We have in here, um, our three triangles are in here. We do have the fusies, but we're not, but I guess we don't need them anymore. Okay. All right. Um, as I sit in the seat, I can see that all of my mirrors are adjusted for me. My student mirror, I can see all the way to the back and the top of the first seat. My student mirror and my visor are both mounted and bolted securely. My windshield has no stickers or decals. It's not broke, cracked or broken, loose or missing. And you'll see in a moment that my windshield wipers are functioning properly as well. I'm doing a safe start. What that means is the bus is in neutral. The parking brake is set. I've got my um, foot covering the brake. Okay. I'll wait until my um, ABS line goes on and promptly goes off. And once I start the bus up, I will turn my lights on to illuminate all my gauges. And then I will check all of my gauges for their functions. My um, fuel gauge has ample enough fuel for this trip. My DEF lights are on and it's full. Got plenty of fluid for this trip. My air gauges front and rear will um, go between 120 and 125. At 125, the governor will cut off and we'll hear a pitch noise. I've got my uh, speedometer, my tachometer, my odometer. I've got my oil, um, and it will sit between 40 and 60 gauge. My water temperature gauge will sit when it's resting between about 190, and trans when it's at its level will be around 200. Okay, I've got, okay, I'm gonna work my door, so just make sure you're in enough. Okay, door, front door works properly. I'm going to put the bus in reverse and you'll hear the backup noise. Okay, and I will make sure that it runs smoothly through each gear. Okay, and um, my horn works properly. My left inside indicator, my right inside indicator, my high beam indicator, my hazard light indicators, my headlamp, headlight indicator switch. I've got my DVR button, which is working properly. The door, which I just showed you, is working properly. I have um, my fans, heaters, and defrosters, high, low, and off, okay, I do have my dome light and my passenger dome light, all of them are functioning properly, I've got my um, noise suspension button that works properly okay and I've got my windshield wipers are working and the fluid works as well okay I'm going to do a series of brake tests now first brake test I'm going to do is to test the parking brake I'm gonna put the bus into gear and push on the accelerator to make sure we're not moving and the parking brake is holding 
Now I'm going to put the bus, keep it into gear and release the parking brake. And I'm going to move forward approximately five miles an hour. And we wanna make sure that the bus is not pulling to the left or to the right when we stop the bus and it stops smoothly. Now I'm going to leave this off, but put the bus back into neutral and turn my bus off, but put it back into accessory. Okay, with no pressure on the brake pedal, I want to make sure that my bus is not losing any more air pressure than two PSI in a minute. Would you like to time that? Uh, no, proceed. Okay. Um, now I'm going to apply heavy pressure to the brake. After the initial drop, I will not lose more than three PSI in a minute. Would you like to time that? No, proceed. Okay. Now I'm going to fan the brake. Be above 55, the light and buzzer will sound. And before, between 20 and 40, the parking brake will set itself. And it did. So all of these emergency functions are working properly. I'm gonna start the bus back up again. Do a safe start. Neutral, parking brake set. ABS line on, properly goes off. Um, I do wanna show you my amber warning lights. The amber warning light, it's kinda hard to see because the sun is so bright. And then my, um, that's the light indicator. And then my red light, warning light also indicator comes on as well. When I close the door, it goes off. And my strobe light, and I'll show you in a moment that that is functioning as well. While that's going, I will show you, um, I think you saw my seatbelt that worked fine. It's not cracked, damaged, or broken, no loose or missing parts. The seat itself is bolted securely to the floor, not cracked or damaged, loose or missing. My seat frames are bolted securely to the floor and the seat cushions are bolted securely to the frames. I'm gonna check on each of those by tugging up on each seat. I'm gonna make sure that the rear exit opens easily from the back, lights come on, buzzer sounds. And when I close it, everything goes off. I'm gonna check the backs of my seats so that they're not cracked or broken, loose or missing. And I'm gonna stop at my roof hatch. Um, this is my strobe light. You can just see the reflection. It's very bright, so it's hard to see. Proper color, not cracked or broken, loose or missing. Proper color is clear. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, and goes off when it's not, when it's closed up. Beautiful day, I should leave it open. Okay, I will also check at one of my window exits, lift up and push out. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, and it all goes off when I shut it back into place. Continue checking each of the seats as I move back. I would check all of the emergency windows as I checked that one, and I would check the other emergency hatch like I checked the rear one. Now I'm going to have you go outside, please, and I'm going to check all of my light functions. Okay, would right. you want me to have the door open? How do I you want, want me to do you, it? I, I would like for you to, once you let me out, to shut the bus off, open the window, and tell me what you're checking. Okay, shut the bus off. Okay. not that no child left behind alarm okay whenever you activate the uh, amber lights and use the door 
you have to go and turn that off or you get the beeping or the horn honking just like we got there. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Left indicator, right indicator, high beam, hazard lights, headlamps. Okay. We've got our amber warning lights, red loading lights, left turn signal and hazard light, clearance lights on the side, left turn signal, right turn signal, hazard lights, brake lights, tail lights, reverse lights, Clearance lights on top are red. Amber light, I mean amber warning lights, red loading lights. Right turn signal, right clearance lights, step light and um, passenger light. All right, very good Therese. I've got you've got about three minutes left. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, heaters and defrosters are working good. Fans on and off. Radio is working fine. No, I'm done. Okay. Therese, you did very well. You passed very easily. I only have you as one one thing off on your air compressor, you did not mention it was gear driven. You're but right. Other than that, nice job. Well, thank you. Is it on to maneuverability now? It is. All right. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. A big thanks to Dave Moore for playing the part of my examiner and to Katherine Kasperzak for being our camera person. If you need a more detailed pre-trip inspection video, there are two additional videos you can check out on my channel, Therese Maletti. Thanks for watching.